It is the 10th of the 7th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. I'm going to start uh, energy news. Fukushima plant evacuated after major quake hits northeastern Japan. It is the largest aftershock since the massive tsunami. Now the USGS is reporting this as a 7.0 earthquake. Um, I've seen other reporting, I think the European site is still reporting it as a 7.1. So, 7.1, 7.1, it's still a pretty major aftershock, uh, earthquake, and uh, there are tsunami warnings out, but as of this, I haven't heard any reports of tsunamis hitting. Worse than melt through, a melt out, see graphic, and I will definitely attach the link to this below. And basically they're saying that um, all three cores major melt out. I'm, literally the whole containment is just gone and, and uh, it's into the tap, or it's into the, the drinking water and uh, it's seeping into the Pacific Ocean pretty much directly. And a uh, new long-term roadmap says removal of melted nuclear fuel may begin in 10 years if the technology essential for the work has been developed insane. So now they're putting the cleanup to begin in uh, 10 years and that's just a guesstimate. June 30 meeting revealed a depleted uranium storage facility burned after earthquake that contained 1800 pounds of DU depleted uranium. Uh, that's in Fukushima as well. Uh, 18,000 plus BQ kilograms radioactive cesium detected in T, 160 kilometers from the Fukushima power plant. And again, these hot spots just keep popping up more and more. Man arrested after collecting radioactive rubble 60 kilometers from the Fukushima plant. And they are spreading this nuclear waste everywhere. They don't know where to put it all. You remember I, I reported last week that they're actually burying People are burying their topsoil and clean up uh, in parks and national forests in Japan because there's no set government cleanup plan for the civilians in these cities outside the, the technical areas. Japan Insider breakup is only a matter of time as TEPCO runs out of cash. We're basically waiting for the natural death of TEPCO. And who's there to take over after TEPCO uh, dies? The Japanese government, GE, the, the owners of these uh, faulty uh, nuclear reactors. Tokyo government says cesium found in cow meat, 2,300 becquels per kilogram. In meat in Fukushima prefecture cows. And uh, radiation data from 36 air monitors around Los Alamos, still not released. Should be available soon. Fed say preliminary sampling showed no dangerous or significant levels of uh, radiation because of all that plutonium um, waste that was on fire off the Los Alamos uh, big up fire. And feds conduct aerial radiation survey near Seattle to get baseline readings, measuring gamma emitters like radioactive cesium and iodine. So here it is, the leak out that that. There is fallout falling here in the United States, and our government has been well aware of it from day one. Japan Nuclear Group says vital info still has not been released, such as temperatures of the molten nuclear fuel and lower section of pressure vessels. Uh, and a Japanese professor reports, the more the media pulls back the veil, the angry the public is getting. You can't believe the nuclear industry, says lawmaker. Insanity. So again, they can't stop the, the truth from leaking out of the Fukushima nuclear disaster. And again, we've just had another major aftershock uh, earthquake, 7.1, 7.0, depends on who you look at. Over to the extinction protocol. The 7.0 magnitude earthquake strikes off the east coast of Japan, and of course that's according to the USGS. 
Uh, small quake swarm at Ascension Island Magma Plume Hotspot. So it looks like we've got an underwater volcano erupting in the South Pacific. Ashes eruption of Mount Etna closes airport in Sicily. So here we go, another volcano. A southern Italian airport was on, was on Saturday closed due to an ash from Mount Etna, forcing traffic to be diverted from Palermo, the uh, ANSA news agency said. So uh, Etna's already closing down airports, and again, that's, that's about ready to uh, pop majorly. It's been ongoing for a while. Civil unrest spreads to Malaysia. 1,400 people arrested by police. And we know the story. Malaysia police fired repeated rounds of tear gas and detained over 1,400 people in the capital on Saturday as thousands of activists evaded roadblocks and barbed wire to hold a street protest against the Prime Minister. And of course there are videos all over the place. And da da da, they got a fear piece, uh, earthquakes in the South Pacific. Small eruption confirmed under Iceland's Katla volcano. And um, a glacial flood, probably from the volcano Katla, has disrupted the ring road, highway number one by the river in South Iceland, tearing the bridge across, tearing a bridge down, the road's closed, uh, blah, 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 and there are videos out. I will attach a video to this below as far as this, this big torrent of water rushing out. you got to remember this is huge glacier on top of this six-mile rimmed volcano Katla. And the last time Katla popped, it had serious ramifications uh, around the northern hemisphere. Uh, Earth changes subject to policy. Bandy, new articles hit the presses. Global warning will threaten Britain's security by triggering wars, food shortages, and mass migration. Energy Minister Chris Hewn warned today. Although the UK may escape the worst physical implements of rising temperatures and seas levels, the UK will be exposed to alarming and shocking co consequences of climate change elsewhere, he said. So, suck up, pay your carbon taxes, don't mind the volcanoes, or anything else that's going on in the solar system. Um, give the politicians more money. Um, they know what they're doing. Insane. And another fear piece, uh, Tropical Storm Calvin becomes the third name stormed in the Eastern Pacific. And some more fear pieces to get you to pay your carbon tax. Over to earthchangescott.net. Uh, Calvin's expected to weaken over the weekend. U.S. Lake how to Pennsylvania storm ups roots trees knocks out power so Pennsylvania some more extreme weather. Um, they described the storm as sounding like a train blasting through uh, Lake Hontel neighborhood Thursday night. The wind uprooted trees with root bags six feet tall, some of which landed on homes and power lines, cut path about 50 feet wide to a wooded area, and knocked out electricity that won't be completely restored until late this afternoon. Uh, more on the Habab, Habub dust storm that covered Phoenix, Arizona. And the National Weather Service and AccuWeather both have post-mortems on the massive dust storm that swallowed Phoenix on July 5th. Um, they say the dust storm was estimated to reach peak height at at least 5,000 to 6,000, about a mile, with the uh, aerial coverage in the leading edge stretching nearly 100 miles, according to the National Weather Service. The storm traveled at least 150 miles, much further than the average 25 to 50 miles that dust storms typically travel. And uh, again, it was one for the record books. <clears throat> one of our local stations, um, uh, Arizona Public, put out some really great videos on that, and I did, I did attach that to my videos below, and I, I will try to find them and attach them again for you. Uh, scientists monitor Iceland's Katla volcano amid flooding, and again, that's just another story on, on what's going on with Katla, and something we definitely need to pay attention to. Um, if you don't know the history of Katla Volcano and what happens when this major volcano, which is overdue, erupts, um, it's definitely something worth looking into. Uh, I don't think uh, global warming is going to be a problem. 
come out with the big one down in Chile and uh, the one in, the big one in Africa gone, gone off with all the dust and that's already lowering the temperatures on the southern hemisphere. Uh, it's all we need is a couple of major volcanoes up in the northern hemisphere just to make it a, a little ice age coming all the way through. Inuit people observe changes in weather, sun, stars, and patterns. They've got the, the video up where the, the Inuit Indians um, of northern Canada and, and Alaska are talking about where they, they definitely, the stars have changed and the, the sun patterns have changed and their hunting patterns have changed. And it's just to go to show that the, that the earth is, is wobbling. And uh, the pole shift is pretty much in progress. <clears throat> And another fear piece, freak Arctic weather precursor to coming ice age. And Icelandic minor activity at uh, the Katla volcano. Over to the RSOE finally. Uh, the Hekla volcano in Iceland still showing activity. The cold wave still persists in Brazil, Uruguay, Argentina, Chile, Peru, and Bolivia. Of course, that huge... Uh, volcano down in Chile has um, definitely caused colder weather down under. Uh, still got forest fires going on in Texas, Arizona, New Mexico. Uh, got flash flooding reports coming out of South Korea. Uh, New Zealand's reporting tornadoes and severe weather. And uh, that's becoming a more common event in New Zealand. Seems like I've been seeing more and more tornado reports. Flash flooding in in Florida, and again they have that big low front just kind of hovering right there that everybody's watching. That is about all I have for you right now. Uh, of course if I see anything else I will definitely let you know. I'll uh, post your comments or attach your videos below. Enjoy what you can and thanks for your support.